or he does it to someone else. Dressed up as a man with a very box shape. Oh no! Yeah, I remember this episode. I think yeah, there's so many times I feel like Stock Park when he canceled for it, but I'm like, oh yeah. Does not like him. And I think they shock culture. So like. Am I saying that bullshit? Ops, enemies, opponents, words that are sure. used to describe somebody that's just a snitch, that's not on your team or by your side, or they just or sure. straight bot behavior. Now, or sure, are you your friends? Sometimes our friends are your biggest ops. The biggest ops in cartoons. There are so many cartoon characters that throw somebody under the bus whenever something goes down, or they're like the biggest hater for whatever reason. Now, I think it's important to like a D1 hater. Like they went to uh, college to be like a D1 hater. Somebody. Uh, when I was a kid, I was like, oh my god, Benton's such a hater, but as I grew up, as you I grew up, realized, like, yeah, Mordecai and Rigby are being bummed. Like, how did, how did he not fire these two niggas? How, how, how? Annoying as hell dealing like, as a kid, I hated Benson. Now I'm like, but honestly, yeah, he should have, they, he should have been fired their ass. So not gonna lie. Super Saiyan just for yelling. I really don't think all that is necessary, but like, Mordecai and Rigby, bro, not gonna lie, how to do their work. They need to add that, um, multiverses. This Benson has a mode where you can go Super Saiyan and then, like, you know, it upgrades his attacks like one out of all of them but next we have belson from clarence now this guy was a spoiled yeah for some i mean he's like like clarence version of like squidward a little bit but squidward was like a little bit more of a hater gaming console the new toy or whatever was out there he got all this stuff for his birthday and he was crying like a bitch about it i just hate that smug ass face that he makes too but the biggest example of him being an op is there was this one time where him and clarence went to the zoo and they were both looking into the glass Belson started banging on it, and as soon as they get caught, this dude just throws Clarence. He, cl he throws Clarence. Yeah, all right. Without even thinking about it. Let's oh, bro, be honest. Belson was just always miserable. We all got that one friend we hang out with, where, like where we know we, they're gonna throw us under the Belson bus eventually, the and we just hang out with them because, like, I mean, let's be honest, they got no other friends. Like, of a spoiled kid. He lives in like, he just wanna be nice to them, and they got no other fucking friends. Like, he he can't do There's no question that he would be on this list. Everybody can unanimously agree that he would be on. Here. Next up, we got Heather from Total Drama. I never liked Heather at all. Total Drama has so many people who would be ops. Like, whatever it be, Heather, maybe Duncan, maybe Alejandro, and then maybe um um the other people from uh Pacatel Island All Star, and then um the new reboot. Total Drama is always gonna have someone who is just an op with everyone else, or maybe just an op to Chris. And then it's just insanity is gonna happen. Bro, I always thought she was a bitch. She would always do the. But definitely, I feel like if it's not if it's not Heather, it's either Alejandro, one of the two, or like the like the biggest ops in Total Drama history. Was to skyrocket the show's ratings just so she won the prize money, and for that reason, nobody on the show liked her. Like they would always team up against hey, her whenever they got the chance. That's the reason why she didn't make it like a good. Like, really don't blame like someone them. villain. Of course, season one ended where she lost, which was very well deserved. But I guess she ended up winning in season three. But if you keep doing that type of shit, like if you try to snake people over, you're just going to get bit in the ass for it. I don't know how she won in season three. I have no idea. But I guess I mean, it depends on the ending you watch because, you know, everybody like was alternate ending. So everyone's going to have like their own ending they, they saw. I mean, in my opinion, it just depends where you live. A lot more better characters in the show than Heather. But if the host, I mean, I agree. Three, but like, you already know you're doing something no. wrong. Next up, we got Eric Cartman. Oh no, he's gonna talk about the time he killed his father, right? I have ever seen or like when he served, um, probably more of a menace gotten no his own like parents, me, right? Serious and like it's really bad. There's a whole video documenting oh. how long he would serve for every. I may have to watch this. I may have to watch this. Removed Kenny's feeding tube to get a PSP, and of course, not only has he done a lot of devious activities that he should be locked up for he is also a spoiled kid 
The amount of times yeah. I've seen him cry and bitch when his mom didn't buy him something is insane. And or he does it to man, someone else. He's dressed up as a man with a very box-shaped mouth. Oh, no. Yeah, I remember this episode. I think yeah, there's so many times I feel like Stock Park when he canceled for him, but I'm like, oh, yeah. Does not like him. And I think they shock culture. So, like, you know, I mean, they're gonna do shit like this. Trouble. Like, honestly, they're I would not be shocked if the there's like a new episode where Cartman does I mean, blackface. I, I would not be very honest. Cartman I would not be shocked. Chance. Like, come on. Next up, we got Rob from Gumball. Now, I've never seen more of an insane revenge arc from this dude. I guess the story. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Yeah, he was left behind. Then when he came back, they changed his appearance and all that. So, then we can't really blame him. Like, he was just like, like trying to be friends with like gumball and all the re rest of them but they kept forgetting about him until you know he started to act like you know more villainous and then while it wasn't working eventually he started to get more like ops like you know tools if you guys like you know watch the remote or like the remote remote part one or part two it's like can you really blame him for being an op not gonna hold you if I was in this situation, I would I would maybe also do the same thing. So honestly, you you really cannot blame him. You honestly really cannot blame him. It's void. But after he got out, he swore to destroy the rest of Elmore or some shit. I don't know. When I was watching the show as a kid, I thought this dude was a nobody. But then he was trying to single-handedly end the show. Oh uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah. <laughs> so of course I hated this guy. And a lot of times he tried to be like this insane master villain, but it just failed miserably and that was basically his entire role throughout season three and four he pretty much just became the school threat as soon as he left that void the grinch i genuinely haven't seen anybody that's more cold than the yeah grinch. okay that's that's one's I also fair that's one's, one's also fair a different breed of human that's one of the best times of the like, year like, I look who really hates christmas lot, but the grinch is the biggest <laughs> now playing there's the like so many cartoons where really someone actually hates christmas everybody's presents. but thankfully the grinch was tired of being a menace he had a change of heart so he decided to return everybody's presence back because apparently his heart grew three sizes this is a picture of the grinch's heart so it doesn't exactly yeah just how miserable this dude was i need a shit like honestly i would not be shocked the grinch's dick is also tight now it's now i'm playing i'm playing i'm playing i'm playing i'm playing i'm playing and speaking of the movie a live action grinch was terrifying the amount of nightmare fuel in that movie alone crazy most of the designs and oh yeah plankton oh yeah d also d1 hater also d1 hater like squidward like i feel like plankton's more of a d1 hater than squidward not gonna lie going to the chum bucket ever again bro that restaurant is garbage and the fact that he even opened up his own restaurant across the street from the crusty crab just Crab's a rival like. mr crabs is insane there's no question why he's on this list he's trying to like destroy his competition well, he's not even in the competition. Let's I mean, the competition is crazy. And then Unless he Trump really just always explodes. To make better food instead of trying to take Mr. Krabs formula. I don't think bro is at a single customer in his restaurant throughout the entire show. And the name itself does not sound very appetizing. Candace from Phineas and Ferb. Now, Candace oh, is yeah. the definition of no fun. Like your Candace is the definition of a fucking sin. Not gonna lie. Like, whenever I watch a cartoon and someone says snitch, the first thing I think of when someone asks me, hey, what's, like, the biggest snitch and like, I would probably say cartoon history? I'd definitely say Candace, not gonna lie. Like, she's definitely top five, like, snitches, because for some reason, she always had it against her brothers. Like, I understand, I understand. Like, as a, like, a big brother, I understand that, you know, you gotta make sure they're safe, but it's like, you know, they're safe, they know what they're doing, they're taking safety precautions, and then every time you're snitching, you're just making it worse for yourself because you're thinking you're everyone's gonna keep thinking you're crazy and also you're not having fun with your friends or your boyfriend so it's like you know honestly i never like candace i i honestly never like candace i don't hold you i i i seriously i have never liked candace your brothers built like a time machine that goes to the future or some shit why like, wouldn't you want to join in on the fun instead and you like, want to be that one bum that's like my sisters did this so i would i, I would make sure they're safe but like you're you know i wouldn't you join them I, I, all these cool adventures that they go on in the show i don't know that would be pretty cool to me but apparently candace 
Candace wanted to make it her life mission to bust Phineas and Ferb. And when she finally does it, she celebrates, even though the house gets knocked down. And Phineas and Ferb end up going away to reform school. Personally, bro, you have to be one sick individual to celebrate that. I don't know. I just don't get it, apparently. I, I don't get it. She's also obsessed with this one dude named, I think, Jared or Jeremy or something like that. She knew the- Hey, Jeremy's, Jeremy's hot. I ain't gonna hold you. Not gonna hold you. She did have, like, a good taste. Good taste in boys, but not gonna hold you. Hanging out. Even shit as specific as, like, the time when he spit milk out of his nose. Yeah, I don't know how the fuck- she Oh, wait, I remember that. I remember that. I remember Next level crazy, though. Vicky from Fairly Odd Parents. Of course she was gonna be on this list. I Yo, Fairly Odd Parents has so many ops. Like, it's- Timmy and Trump, It's Vicky, no it's, um, Mr. Crocker, so and it's, um, the what's the book's name? Francis. Like, for some reason, Timmy just had so many big ops for no reason. She cares way too much about But definitely, I would say Vicky's, like, the biggest one out of all three of them. Her voice is so goddamn annoying. Like, she just really had it out for Timmy for absolutely no reason. Miserable. Her life's goal is to make every child miserable that she babysits. Or, well, just children in general. I don't know what kind yeah. of sick person gets enjoyment out of that. That's just weird as hell to me, bro. Like, she's just hating for... Honestly, no most of Butch Hartman's cartoons just had, like, big ops, but all right. It's just an L person. Bling, bling, boy. Test, this dude would do anything to try and get Johnny's sisters. He thought just because... I would also say, I would also say Johnny Tess also secure. had so many ops. Not gonna hold you. Honesty, like, it's bling, bling, boy. It's the, um, fake. He's um He's the boy that make that was a super villain that makes ice on I forgot his name. Like, they had so many ops. He's a cause of most of the problems that go on in this show. He is his own island where he makes devices to make her try and, like, fall in love with him or something. And he wonders why she doesn't like him back. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, bro. He's just coming off like desperate as hell. It's just never gonna work out for him. He brought her one million roses. A bunch of 50 roses cost like $63 on Amazon. So he spent about a million two hundred and sixty thousand dollars just to impress. Like, I'm like, I'm even around. I'm gonna say, reason why he I mean, sip for a girl, but I'm gonna never do that in my fucking life. I'm even around. I'm gonna say, I'm never gonna do that in my fucking life. This dude is the oh, Randall. Another like big ass snitch. Situation. Not gonna hold you for some. I think a lot of the big snitches in cartoons came from Disney. Not gonna lie, because he was another one that I just never liked. Teacher's pet, and he helps the teacher miss. Like personally, he may be worse than Candace. Not gonna hold you. Not gonna hold you. Like sometimes Candace actually had fun, but he might be worse. Paragraphs. He's got files on people for reasons to get them in trouble. I mean, just look at him. Look at his devious ass grin here. I don't know what he thinks getting people in trouble is gonna do. Sometimes he. Would just straight up stalk people. He had all these little gadgets to help him like listen in on people's conversations and shit. Literally nobody liked him, which was to be expected. Like honestly, who's who's gonna like him? Not gonna. Teacher cared about. He's like. She's like the probably the only one that actually liked him. Not gonna lie. Mr. Crocker. This dude. Oh yeah, there we go, Mr. Crocker. I'm about to say, how did he not mention Mr. Crocker? Oh, all right. Ugliest cartoon characters. Click this video on the end screen. Just do it. I'm not gonna lie, if you guys want me to watch that video, please tell me in the comments, because I'm not gonna hold you. I would watch that. Guys, that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Dub wordy video. Not gonna lie. Dub wordy video. Not gonna lie. Like, I feel like cartoons have so many ops. I feel like he could def this could definitely actually become a series. Because <laughs> literally, like, a lot of, like, Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, and Disney shows have ops. So I feel like definitely, like, Disney. Like, yeah, you got, um, you got Fernando, you got Candace, you have La Cienica from, like, Proud Family, both the original and reboot. They're like, what? Hold up. You got, like, Bubble Bass from SpongeBob 2. It is, like, you know, there's so many, like, really really like biggest option cartoons i feel like he could definitely make this a part two so not gonna lie dub worthy video not gonna hold you i really like really enjoyed this video so guys that was the video hope you guys enjoyed the video please grab the bell and let's get notified when i upload a new video comment what do you guys want to react to next anyways that was the video i'll see you guys later bye Oops.